Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. A slight victory today in Virginia where the state Senate voted to shelve the assault rifle bill. The bill that included the future sales of assault rifles to be banned. Those who own them would be forced to register them. It would restrict magazine capacity to 12 rounds, enhance background checks, making silencers illegal, and a whole host of other things. The state senate also ordered the state commission to do a study to see what the effects would be potentially if that bill actually went into place and if it would make virginia a safer place to live now why do i call it a slight victory well basically it's a postponement for the future now the anti-gunners they're they're already out there lipping off saying that we will revisit this next year we're going to get this done we need to make virginia safer blah 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 we hear the same thing all the time and i'm happy that the state commission is going to do a study because we know that the facts are on our side restricting law abiding gun owners of their rights and and just chopping apart the second amendment will not make virginia or anywhere else safer so I will really be interested to see what the results of that study come back as or what the information is. But one of the things that I think is extremely important to recognize is that the fact that all these counties, over 95 counties, made themselves sanctuary, two-way sanctuary counties. They said, the mayors and the law enforcement and the people running those areas said, we will not enforce this because this is unconstitutional. The fact that over 22,000 people showed up at the state's capital in Richmond and, and fought for their rights. That, that was an incredible showing, and it's only being reported 22,000, but there were many other thousands who never even made it in. They were, they were stuck on buses, traffic jams, uh, streets closed and all this. That could have been upward of 30,000 people that showed up. To, to make their voices heard. And, and the fact that they had uh, no problems whatsoever, you know, they said, oh, this is going to be chaos. They have, they're going to be having loaded guns. It's going to be not any problems to speak of. And, you know, the, the media remained silent on that. But that was very powerful. As we see this going on, not only in Virginia and other places, they are leading the way. And, and you know that this is playing into the psyche of these politicians. Now let's talk about them. They have these thousands and thousands of people demanding that their rights and freedoms be protected, that they follow, follow the Constitution, which is something very interesting that doesn't happen too often when people have a, an agenda, all right, that is funded by Bloomberg. And they were very organized and very vocal, and they were giving no ground whatsoever. That leads the way for the rest of the country to say, look, if if these anti-gunners are going to get in there, they're going to be well-funded by uh, deep pocket people like Bloomberg and Soros and others, you know, we need to fight against this. These politicians are looking to get re-elected. They have their own self-interests. You know, they'll they'll do it by, you know, under the umbrella of safe society, you know, ban this. Uh, and then they also say things like, well, and most gun owners agree with us. Well, they learned in a very strong way that that is completely false. Most gun owners do not agree with them. And they also had all areas of gun ownership, you know, not just the CCW guys, not just the, the competition guys, not just the hunters, but everybody. And all the gun groups came out and they got a lot of support from all other people throughout the entire country saying this is wrong. Now, they have this anti-gun really fool of a man who who is the governor northam who is out there saying from day one this is what's going to happen when we get into power when the democrats take over our first line of of voting or our first bills that we're going to introduce are going to be gun control and and the people stood up and rose against that in an extremely strong way and not only that but they got support throughout it was very effective it is a postponement. This fight is never over. It will never be fully victorious until it goes to the Supreme Court. And even then, people twist it all around. These politicians want to get reelected. If they could do that in a, a liberal area, they say, look at what I'm doing to keep Virginians safer, then that's what they're going to do. They have an agenda. They have the media on their side. They have some uh, big pocket 
millionaires who are willing to put forth money to fund their campaigns. But the people spoke, and the people spoke very loudly, and they have a slight victory. And we'll see what they come back with the commission, even if that is, is fair and not uh, agenda-driven. But I'm happy to get in front of here and say, right now, that part is... I'm not going to say a dead issue, but it, it's postponed. The House Democrats, the, the delegates of Virginia, they, they voted, they passed this by a slight margin. Many of the Democrats in the Senate joined with the Republicans because they want to get elected. And they also saw the thousands and thousands of people who stood up for their rights. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.